In my previous video, I mentioned that the number one cause of death in India and globally is cardiovascular diseases or the diseases of the heart and blood vessels. Specifically, I refer to coronary artery disease or the diseases of the blood vessels that supply the heart itself. In this video, I will cover two aspects. Number one, what is a heart attack? Number second, why is it important for a person who has such symptoms to immediately rush to the nearby hospital? Or in other words, why is the time taken from the onset of symptoms to hospital presentation, why is it important? I am Dr. Mohsen Raj Mantu. I am a DM Cardiology Fellow at Ames New Delhi. Let's start the video. So what is a heart attack? In medical terms, we refer to it as myocardial infarction or MI. It occurs as a result of an acute occlusion of an artery that supplies the heart muscle itself. So as a result of that acute occlusion of an artery, the heart muscle is deprived of the blood supply. In other words, the ischemia of the muscle of the heart itself. This is what produces the pain in the chest that's typical of a heart attack. This is what damages the walls, the muscle of the heart itself, and leads to various complications. The most common cause of heart attack is atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a disease process in which lipid material or fatty material, specifically LDL cholesterol, deposits in the vessel wall. So as a result of the deposition of LDL cholesterol in the vessel wall, the lumen of the vessel narrows. And number second, the wall gets damaged, which results in inflammation of the vessel wall itself. Now, in the setting of a heart attack, this already narrowed vessel wall gets occluded suddenly. So how does it happen? That atherosclerotic diseased vessel wall suddenly ruptures as a result of various causes. And once it ruptures, a clot develops at that place. So an already narrowed blood vessel and then a clot on top of it totally or completely occludes the blood vessel that supplies the heart muscle itself. And in this way, the heart muscle is deprived of the blood flow to it. What are the symptoms of a heart attack or myocardial infarction? The most common symptom is chest pain. So how severe can the chest pain be? It can be the worst pain you've ever experienced, or sometimes it can be very subtle. And how does it feel? Most commonly, it feels as a heaviness in the chest, like a belt around your chest or something just tightening your chest or someone sitting on your chest. Or sometimes it's a frag pain in the chest. How long does it last? It lasts for more than several minutes, more than 20 minutes, more than 20 to 30 minutes, and things can go worse if the pain continues. The pain may just be localized to your chest or sometimes you may also feel pain in your neck area, jaw, maybe shoulders, maybe your arms. And other symptoms that may accompany the chest pain may include breathlessness, difficulty in breathing, dizziness or generalized weakness or a so-called sense of impending doom. So what is going on inside your heart while you're experiencing the chest pain? Well, your heart is made up of heart muscle. The heart muscle is heart muscle cells, what we call cardiomyocytes. So while you're having the chest pain, the heart muscle cells are experiencing irreversible damage and they start dying. The cells die. 
And the longer the pain lasts, the more the number of your heart muscle cells that die. And after some time, maybe after several hours, and it varies from person to person, after several hours, the entire thickness of the heart wall is a dead tissue. It has died because the blood supply to that piece of muscle is gone. And at that point of time, several complications may arise. One, because the heart wall is weakened, the heart fails as a pump. It fails to pump blood to the essential organs of your body. The blood flow to important organs like brain or kidneys decreases. And second, that weakened area of that heart muscle may rupture and such events are often lethal. The second important thing that happens is the so-called ventricular arrhythmias, the dangerous cardiac rhythms that can lead to sudden cardiac arrest. You may watch my previous video on sudden cardiac arrest to understand that. So how long does it take to cause irreversible injury to the heart? Well, the injury to the heart muscle starts as soon as the blood flow is interrupted. But in maybe in half an hour, the irreversible injury sets in and it may take maybe three to six hours for the full thickness of the heart muscle, the full thickness of the wall of the heart to be necrosed or the tissue being dead. Then, as I mentioned, this varies from person to person. It depends on so many conditions. So when should the therapy be started for heart attack or when should you present to the hospital? Well, logically, as soon as possible from the onset of symptoms, because the longer the delay from the onset of symptoms to hospital presentation to initiation of treatment, the longer the delay, the greater the amount of heart muscle that gets damaged, the greater the chances of you having complications from that heart attack or greater the chances of death from that heart attack. Well, in the treatment armamentarium that we have, the most important thing is revascularization, which means opening that occluded blood vessel. Well, it's done by various methods. There are, there are drugs to do that or there are different techniques, so-called angioplasty to do that. I am a cardiologist. I routinely take care of patients who present with heart attack to our hospital. And it's quite unfortunate that many times patients present too late after the onset of their symptoms. Some many, many hours after the onset of symptoms and occasionally patients presenting days after the onset of symptoms. So they present beyond a window period in which we have the opportunity to act to revascularize, to open those occluded blood vessels. So the message from this video is clear. In case anyone develops such symptoms as a pain in the chest or heaviness in the chest that's lasting for more than several minutes, more than half an hour, you should immediately rush to the hospital, get evaluated and avoid the complications of such events as heart attack. Because your time is your heart muscle. Thanks for watching the video. I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you.